Welcome back to the channel guys, hope everyone's doing well. Today, I've got a new board. So, full disclaimer, a company called Wowboard have sent me this AT2. So this is an all-terrain board. It's got pump-up tyres on it. It's meant to do 40 kilometers an hour. So first impressions, it looks and feels really good quality, actually. Um, everything about it, kind of, it's very boot similar to Boosted Board. When I got the Boosted Board out of the box, um, packaged nicely. There's plenty of accessories. You get this remote, this is actually on at the moment. Um, I don't think there's a reverse, there's a brake, seems to be. Well, I've just kind of just got it out and just played around with it straight away. It was fairly charged out of the box. This deck is really nice as well. It's got kind of, obviously got grip tape on here, um, but this is sort of like a sort of spongy, it's got a spongy feel to it. Um, yeah, it probably weren't my best idea. At least it wasn't in turbo mode anyway. So yeah, the remote's nice. You've got basically just one button. What's cool about this is if you turn this off, then the board goes off as well. That's neat. Boosted didn't do that. So you get a pump in here. They haven't, I thought there was two sets of wheels included with this, because there was some other wheels that you can run on this um, that aren't actually kind of your normal tires that you pump up. They were more like rubber-based cloud wheels, I think. I don't know, maybe they just stopped doing those now because there's not much point, I suppose, um, in using both sets of wheels. Um, you get a pump, you get a charger for the, that's a charge lead for the remote. Um, you also get a light, a rear light. I'm not sure how that fits on. I'll have to have a look at that later. Um, a little wall in here. Get like one of these multi-tool things, which is always handy. That's actually for, what is that actually for? Maybe that's for the trucks. Um, and then obviously your, your one that's a bit more recognizable for your, your wheel nuts and stuff like that. Also, of course, you get the charger, which is over there. This is a 42 volt charger, so um, it's a 10 cell pack then basically. And this is a three amp charger as well. So it will charge a bit quicker than some of these scooters, which are normally two amp chargers. Since it's got a 14 amp hour Sanyo battery in here as well, um, I'm not gonna take it apart and test it. Have a look at the back. Really nice belt driven setup. Um, you get a couple of spare belts in here as well, uh, which is useful because I can imagine it might actually get through belts because obviously, you know, all terrain and all that. Kingpin trucks, somebody mentioned about adjusting these on another video. I'll see how I get on and then maybe adjust these and see how they actually fare. Pretty beefy motors anyway. Apparently, the controller is 48, is capable of 48 amps. So, you know, 48 amps at 40 odd volts. Um, what is that? It's probably about 2,000 watts, 1,900 watts, something like that. So pretty pokey. So I've got my new lid as well. Let's hop on it, give it a go. Right, so it's in, it's in power level one. Nice smooth start. Oh, my foot is actually touching the wheels. It's got quite a lot of maneuverability. So, you know, you might want to tighten that up. I don't know. We'll have to see how we get on. It is pretty good though, because obviously you want that so you can kind of steer. Other thing I noticed about it, it was pretty heavy when I was bringing it down the stairs. That is quite a, quite a heavy board. Um, also, this kind of sticks out, so you're gonna muller this. If you, basically, if you're doing this, I won't do it on it, but if you're standing it up like that, then that is gonna be in contact with the ground, so you might wanna put some sort of protector over there to stop that just getting scratched to hell. So we're on power level one. Brakes feel pretty reasonable. I mean, it's pretty punchy for a level one. I'm not sure what the difference between one and two and three and turbo is gonna be. So we can set it up to, let's put it on turbo. Yeah, it's got some beans, definitely got some beans. The brakes are, yeah, I don't know. Brakes are a little bit better in, should be a lot better in turbo mode. Got the company, let's burn him off. It is butter smooth though, I'll tell you what. I've not ridden a mountain board actually before. And this is a world of difference compared to like a, whoa. It's got a very different throttle curve to the um, to the boosted. Still getting, trying to get used to it. What is pretty cool is how quiet it is and how it just pops up over obstacles like that. It's pretty good. Right guys, so it's a couple of weeks later now. I wanted to have a little bit of time with the board just to figure it out, get to grips with it. Um, Cause it's all very well kind of unboxing and just doing a straight up review, but you don't really kind of get the gist of what's actually going on. Anyway, the sun's out, it's much better weather now. I've been meaning to do this for a little while, just get out on the board, spend an afternoon with it, and I can let you know how it goes. So we're gonna head out down this lovely bit 
of canal and this runs for a couple of miles you can see it's you know kind of just a track it's nothing nothing special it's not particularly hard terrain for this thing um but it is so smooth it just feels an absolute dream as i say like i wouldn't be able to do this on a normal skateboard it just wouldn't happen so i've got a little bump there easy just bumps it up you've got to be still got to be prepared for it but what i've kind of noticed is you end up just getting way more confident with this than you would be a normal skateboard a normal skateboard electric skateboard you're kind of looking for every possible you know hole and which you've still got to do it's still advisable to to do that um but you haven't got to do it as much because you know you haven't got the <laughs> You haven't got tiny little wheels that are going to get stuck in something, basically. So you can just cruise along nicely. I tend to not go too quick on these things because, you know, if you can't run it out, you're going to be in serious trouble. And I haven't got a helmet on today. Probably a bit stupid, but it's just, just want the wind in my air. First little niggle I've found with this board is that this controller basically is armed from the word go. So you got no like on a boost it board you've actually got a button on the back you have to push that button in before the board will arm now there's been a couple of occasions where i've picked the board up i've got the remote around my hand and i've accidentally hit the throttle and that is bad because the amount of power this thing's got it could just launch off and hit someone or something or end up in the middle of a road or something like that so i really think it should have a sort of dual fail safe Thing on the uh, on the trigger that being said i'm really used to the throttle curve now and like it's that's not an issue it was a little bit kind of tetchy at first but getting used to it now all right guys <laughs> lovely day to be out on the canal you know some belt drive stuff can actually be a bit noisy but this this is silent People seem, seem to sort of double take and kind of go, what is that? Is that actually electric or, or not? It's like there's a cafe down there. So this is another great thing. You just literally can go anywhere. You haven't got to carry the board really, which is a good job because it is quite heavy. You can just use it just to, you know, get across any bit of grass. It's lovely. All right, I struggled a bit with that. Oh yeah, you've got to watch gravel. It's a nice little place. And there's a cafe down there as well. It's got a little electric speedboat here as well. Got two batteries linked together, 24 volts into that little motor over the back. Interesting, I've wanted to try one of those for a while. That was a good little pit stop. That's the thing about these little electric vehicles, you can sort of go on a little mission somewhere further than you could probably you know, be bothered to walk and find some interesting stuff. Let's do a little hill test. From a standstill at the bottom, you have to sort of lean into it. No problem at all, that is crazy isn't it really. Ooh, straight up into the river. The brakes are pretty good on the other side. Nice, e-bike. <laughs> that last hill was done on power level one. I'm gonna try and uh, do this little strip. I haven't been up here before, but I've changed it to power level two. Still got to have a bit of skill to stay on this thing going over the bumps. But, it might need more than two actually to get out there. It's definitely working. Working hard. Yeah, it's not going to do it on that power level. Let's do it on turbo mode. Flicked it onto turbo mode. We're going from a standstill as well, so that's not... Oh, that immediately feels a lot better. Oh, it's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. It is pretty steep though, with my lard ass on it. Back out now, 
Now I'm going to nip to the town because I've got a couple of errands to do. Handling this pretty broken up path pretty well as well. This would be a no go, an absolute no go area on a normal skateboard. I mean, look, you've got an absolute nightmare there waiting to happen, but that just <laughs> went up it, no problem at all. So anyway, on the way back now, it's pretty cool you can use this board just to sort of get about town and do a few errands as well. It's not just about going balls out on the, uh, the off-road stuff. Right, well that was pretty good fun, no dramas. All in all, that was about nine miles. I was just looking at the maps, about nine miles kind of um, all in one trip. It's taken off two bars off the, off the battery. So you can see that, two out of the available five. So that's pretty, pretty interesting. Um, nine miles, so what you're gonna get over 20 miles um, on a battery going at that rate, and that's like kind of mixed, you know, on-road, off-road, a little bit of this. Not, I wasn't going mad, of course, but um, yeah, so that, I think that's pretty, that's pretty impressive. So all in all, I like it. Would it be my first method of sort of transportation around the town? Probably not, I'd probably choose to use maybe a sit-down scooter or an e-bike, because it just, I don't know, skateboard's just a little bit more quirky, you know, to ride on, even with the big wheels, you know, it can be a little bit kind of a pain to keep getting on and off it, bumping up curves. You still got to get off of it to go up larger curves, stuff like that. So as a main transport kind of device, like I'd probably use, yeah, probably use an e-bike or a scooter, but as an alternative, it's awesome. And the other thing is it's definitely more portable than an e-bike. You can't just throw an e-bike in the back of your car without putting seats down or taking wheels off, stuff like that. So that skateboard is really good for that it's a bit heavy but you can kind of get get around that by just you know rolling the back wheels just pulling it around <laughs> you know like i was doing through the shop um it works it's actually fine but as a bit of fun up and down you know off road and stuff stick a crash helmet on maybe full levers and just go go mad and apart from the niggle with the controller you know it's easy to stick it into full throttle <laughs> as you saw it launched into the one of the walls in the flat Unfortunately, it didn't damage anything. But yeah, that might not be good if you were to accidentally do that out and about. So anyway, to sum up, great board, love it. I love the fact that you've got an OLED display in the remote. These things have kind of, you know, these boards have definitely kind of come on leaps and bounds since the original boosted board. And I think, you know, I'd ride that over a boosted board any day. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this one. Hope it's been useful if you're thinking about getting something like this. And um, I'll catch you in the next video.